Is it you? No. Well, I have to wake you up again? Aren't you going to say good morning to me? Uh, sure. I'm not ready to say good morning yet. Okay, fine. I guess I have to wait? Um... I guess I'll we'll go find a fire to wait by, right? You can wait by the fire. Although I don't know if that works by a cooking pot. Okay, it's morning now, and also apparently our jumps do not re do not come back just because it's morning, or just because we spent time, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm gonna use up one right now. Here we go, so that we can get all of them back in a second here. Ah, come on, let me up, let me up. Alright, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Higher up? No? Lower down? It's impossible to find anybody on the, using the map in this place. As cool of a uh, round design as it is, it does make navigating it a little bit troublesome. Not where I want to be. Um, okay, I feel like they are actually above me. Okay, they are still in their bed. Are there, is it time for more uh, for you to be awake? You're not ready? It's morning though. Does it have to be noon? Okay. Ah. <sighs> Guess I have to go rest a little bit longer. I'm also confused why our blessings don't regenerate after resting at a fire. That's that's one thing that is very odd. Why, why don't they? Why don't why don't the blessings come back? I feel like that should be a normal thing. Do you have to rest properly at a bed for that to work? All right, tell me the story again. I already heard it, but. Yeah, your grandpa stopped at a big tree, looked northwest, huge white bird, snow white birdie, and he flew towards it. Northwest of the tree. Got it. Okay, she just keeps repeating it, so I don't have to talk to her. Cause she's just, she's not saying anything new. All right, so I can warp back there and I can look Northwest from the tree and see if I notice anything specific. Okay, here we are back at the tree. And we're supposed to look northwest, down below, and find a bird. Okay. I mean, I'm looking northwest. I don't think, I don't see anything in particular that catches my eye. At all. Okay. I don't need this guy to be coming up on me and... Trying to obliterate me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. You know what? Forget you. We don't need you. Let's just go northwest of the tree and look. We don't need to bother fighting that guy for the millionth time. Okay, there's something up there. That I see. Is it a, like a pinwheel thing? Well, all the ore went flying off the edge, didn't it? Oh, there it is. Still got some. That's one problem with using 
bombs to break open everything. But I'm not gonna stop doing it. I hear a Korok. Oh no, it is just the, it is just the thing. Okay, so. All right, so they're teleporting around everywhere. Ah, don't disappear. Yep, as expected. I'm pretty sure this is not the bird though. <laughs> this is indeed a Korok. So that's cool. But that's not a bird. I'm just gonna keep going northwest. And hopefully I run into something that is bird-like. Oh, this thing's alive. You never can tell. Did I just parry that into a different enemy? I'm not sure what happened. Okay, this is rather doomed. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, I have to hit it multiple times. That's twice. That's thrice. There we go. Three times in a row. Okay, well, I did manage to do it in the end. Okay. I mean, that's cool. But that's not what I'm looking for. That is still not a bird. Sherfin's Secret Hot Spring? Sherfin's? Okay. I don't know what this is, but I'm, I'm somewhere. My night shield is still almost broken. I've just been going northwest of the tree, trying to go as northwest as possible, and it's leading me here. This looks like... Oh. I understand. This is a shield surfing thing, isn't it? Okay, hold on. I don't remember how to shield surf. Something about A or something while the shield is up. Yeah, okay, that failed. But I, I, I think I understand. I think I need to shield surf through that. But this is probably just a Korok. It's probably not related to whatever this whole bird thing is. Still, we're gonna do it. Go, 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 go! Oh! No! Okay, I got it. I thought I failed there. You found me! Bye-bye. Yep, bye-bye. Well, that was very fun and all. Thanks for the Korok seed. But... I think our hopes of ever finding whatever this bird thing is are uh, are pretty doomed at this point. So I'm just gonna go check out what I, check out whatever this icefall foothills is before I go. Oh, it's a shrine. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll do this do the shrine while we're here. Okay, a major test- oh no! Another major test of strength, oh my gosh, okay, um... Let's put on our... best clothing. That... That... 
I think. Is that is that our strongest armor? Yeah, it is. Okay. And I'll save before going in there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this one. We'll see. We struggled with the last one. I don't know how do these um these trials work. Like, are they always the same trial per shrine or? Does the progression depend on which ones we've done before? Okay, hold on. Why... Why is this a thing? What, what's the purpose of that? Well, that was a one-shot, even with Mipha's blessing. Good to know. Good to know. At least this time we are starting with more HP because of Mipha's Blessing being active, but it's still not like it's regenerated or whatever. And also I guess it's not, it's, you can't even, it's not even active in this area, so. Okay, so hold on. Can I, can I remove these? Like, does that, no. So what's the purpose of that? To block some sort of attack? There must be some attack that it does later on that I need to use that to block. I mean, at the very least I could use that to block the whole insta-kill attack that they normally do, right? I really- I- I hate it when it does that. Um, alright. Good thing we have another Night Shield. Okay. Um, what weapons do I go with? I guess I still go with like uh, the weakest weapons first, right? But these are one-handed weapons, aren't they? I should go with two-handed weapons first. Okay, we're going with Guardian Spear Plus Plus. Did the music just change? I feel like this music is different from normal. At least it was right there. All right, Guardian Spear plus plus. Ow. See, it takes a really long time before I can get my shield out again. And it's often enough time for him to murder me. Which is a problem. Yeah, the music this time is, it's like, it's changing. Okay, no more Guardian Spear, which is a little sad, but it is what it is. I'm sure we're gonna get similar things in a bit after beating him. That hurt. I guess we go with the Royal Claymore? I wonder if there's a specific weapon that these things are weak to. I think, you know what, I should probably be trying to hit it in the eye, right, with my bow. I have a feeling that's something I should be, I should be trying to do. But it is what it is. Because that might be an easier way to defeat these guys than whatever nonsense I've been doing these days. Chill out. Do it again. Okay, he's gonna do that again. He's almost dead, which means he's about to do his secret move, whatever that happens to be. We'll see. I gotta get ready with, um... These, like, metal things. Let's see if I need to use them to block an attack or something. 
maybe they, were they just existing in all of the um, trials and I only just now noticed them? Is that is that is that true? Guess we'll never know. Actually, I'll know when I edit this, won't I? Okay. So, he's about to do the laser beam. So, yeah, I think I'm going to switch to this and hold this up. I'm not going to try to parry it this time around. Three? Four? Wait, is it just going to keep doing that? No way. Really? Then what are these for? One, two, three, four. Is it just stuck in this mode now? Wow. Okay, I think I have to parry it. Then what, again, what are these for? Okay, whatever, I have to parry it. Best of luck to me. I'm dead here, aren't I? I'm not dead, apparently. No, I'm just dead. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of the metal things? I'm totally missing something. I'm totally missing something. There's no way that those metal boxes have absolutely no purpose at all, right? There's no way. Well, for now, it seems like this is going to be the exact same battle as the previous one, so um, I'll get back to you guys when I when it's dead. So I just had a thought. What if I was to make that thing go up, stasis it, stasis it there, and then use the opportunity to maybe fire some uh, bomb arrows or air regular arrows at its face when it's charging up? I feel like that might be a little bit better of an option than trying to kill myself parrying it. Yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. So first off, Magnesis, lift it up. Let's let it, let's wait for it to do its first volley. One, two, Three, four. All right. Then we're gonna stasis it here. Nope, that didn't work. I'm dead. If I, I have to parry now. I parried, okay. Well, you know what? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> um, I, I think, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could be fast enough to Magnesis it upwards and then stasis it and then do all that. I think I just have to immediately when I see it's doing that blue move is just get out my bow and start blasting. So we got a guardian sword, but I can't carry it, and we got other stuff here too. So hold on. I think what I need to do is this is the spear version, yes? Yeah, it's the spear version. So what do I want to do here? Because I have a lot of weapons, but... Man, I really wish I could carry more. So I already used these two in the fight. So they're the ones that are already used up a little bit, but... Man, I haven't had a chance to use the Flame Blade yet. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Lionel Sword. And we're gonna grab this first off. Right? Because it's a plus plus Guardian Sword, which means it's very strong, and it is. And then the scimitar will also drop. And we'll pick up the battle axe. Because that's super strong. And we'll just um, get a new spear maybe? Is that what we'll do? Is it worth doing that over... Uh, like, should we have two spears or should I drop the meteor rod? I still feel like I want... I mean, we've already used the meteor rod a lot. I I'm going to drop it. We'll do this. Okay, now we have one Guardian Spear that's been used up a bit. 
The Royal Claymore's been, Claymore's been used a bit. I think that's okay. It's just a shame. It's a real shame that we can't just carry whatever weapons. All right, and I'm assuming a weapon's in here too, isn't there? Which is gonna give us another tough decision. Nope, Sapphire, okay, thank you. Thank you for not being a weapon that we have to make a tough decision about. Uh. So here's the thing though, if we continue to explore this mountain, we'll need a fire rod like that, but I'm, I'm sure I can find some, some other place. It already, uh, it already came in handy for us. We already got good use out of it. It is what it is. All right, so that's six spirit orbs. And now, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna give up on the whole search for wherever this bird is quest. It's not working out. And we are going to do what I was said I was going to do, which is convert all of our health into, uh, sorry, convert all of our stamina into health again and see if we can use that in order to get us enough health to get the Master Sword. So, that's the plan. Okay, here we are back again, but this time with 10 total regular arts. Let's see how this goes. Man, it felt like we were getting there, but obviously we're still not there. Okay, well, I'll go back to my state of being where I was before, and then we'll be on our way. Two more hearts was just not enough. So I think the next thing I want to do is figure out the next step in a lot of the, well, in the main quest. Um, so if I go to, not this, if I go to my log, right, so this tells me where they are. And you have to travel to the places for that, yeah. And that's the Lost Woods. Okay, so if I look at this, where's this telling me to go? So it's telling me one of them is over here, one of them is over there. We've already seen this one, right? We've already seen that. The question is, where do we go to actually start the quest to, uh, to, to deal with the Divine Beast here? Oh, I guess we go here, right? And the problem I think here was that it was too hot. Um, we have some stuff that will allow us to stay cool, but I don't think we have any equipment specifically to stay cool. Now, before I go there, I, I want to... Did I go here and take a look at what was what was down here? I don't think I did. So I want to go see what's down there real quick. Um, and then after that, I think we'll travel a bit north to see if I can find wherever it is the, um, the quest for that Divine Beast actually starts. I think it would be very interesting to go to the, to the Gerudo Mountains and uh, do that one instead, but... I feel like we'll need more supplies for that one. Um, we'll need both heat resistance and flame resistance, and we have both, but we don't have large quantities of both. So I feel like um, doing this camel one first might be a little bit easier. Okay, we're apparently cold up here. Um, so I guess I'll do that, and then that for now. Um, we still need more stuff to upgrade our equipment as well. And I don't think we've been finding it. Okay. So this looks like another maze. Which I am a big fan of, so I don't mind. Let's fly on over here and see what it is that's going on. If it is a maze, I'm going to assume just dropping in on it is not going to be very welcome. But we'll see. There's the entrance over to the right. It looks like there's fire underneath. Of lava of some sort. We've got all these open holes that it looks like I would never ever be able to get out of if I went in them. 
So that's curious. South Lome Labyrinth. Okay. See somebody on top of the walls. That's interesting. Oh, there's something in there. It's a chest. Well, I guess we'll go in here. Although I don't know how useful it's going to be. Unless we can get out, which we can. Okay. To use this foot in here, my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. Now, where's the labyrinth's end? It's possible that I'm already at the labyrinth's end and wouldn't know it. Gerudo Shield. The design of this metal shield has changed over time to master Gerudo's sword and shield fighting style. It's favored by soldiers and travelers alike. Uh, wait, my inventory of shields is full? No way. Okay, I guess they are. Uh, I guess it is. Uh, well, I'll drop this one. Our shield inventory is so small. But that shield's about to break anyways, so... Let's use a soldier shield. And, um... I guess we should be trying to use the Great Flame Blade. Is this two-handed or... It's two-handed. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's use this thing up. We haven't... We haven't tried it at all. This has the, this place has the same uh, soundtrack as the other maze that we were in before. So I'm assuming the goal of this mage is to go downwards? Since there seemed to be like a, a lava-ish area below or something? Although I should be wary of upwards as well. Yeah, this is, this is gonna get confusing fast for sure. Okay, it's not lava, it's just this um, goop. That makes sense. Upwards? Okay, this is the outer edge. Is this like the regular entrance then? Or is this something else? I need to know if this links up with the front entrance. I bet if you understand this maze already, you could just drop into the ult uh, the optimal location and get right to the end. Okay, no, there, there's the start. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when I find something, I guess. Okay, I found some iron bars. And also I remembered that this song, the place I heard it from was uh, The Lost Woods, actually. I think that's where I heard it from. So those metal bars, how am I going to get past that? I think that's probably the key. Oh, never mind. I'm already past it. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of that flying mini game that I don't have to play, so that's good. I've got a bunch of goop. So I can just climb around that, can't I? Like, that's not actually blocking off my path, is it? Let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, you can just jump like this. And like this. Yeah, easy enough. Uh, did that not actually get me anywhere? I feel like that didn't actually get me anywhere. Yeah, I think this is another dead end. Interesting. Okay, so maybe there's a path through the center somehow? 
that I'm missing? I guess I'll check that next. Okay, there is the shrine. Now the question is, is there a way to get there from underneath or do I need to open up this grate somehow? I'm assuming I have to get there from underneath, which means that that thing down there possibly opens? Who knows? But it appears like there's no way I can go through here. Which is curious because that means the only two entrances are on each either side. But I'm pretty sure I checked either side. So was there something that I needed to look up for that I missed? That's most likely the case. So I'm going to go back to where I was in those side paths. And I'm going to look for something in the upward direction. This new? Mitha's grace is ready. This area actually might be new. Possibly? Oh, don't grab onto that, Link. Or maybe not. It's so hard to tell. This looks promising. What's with the, uh, the lanterns here? Is that telling me this is where I need to go? Am I making progress? Hey, that's a sword stuck in there. Do I want to grab that? That seems similar to my royal claymore. But probably possibly not though. Oh, actually, I can just grab it like this, right? Yeah, I don't need to actually walk in there. Golden Claymore. Only the most talented Gerudo sword fighters carry this two-handed sword. It's actually much lighter than it appears and is surprisingly easy to wield. But I can't carry it. Yeah. That's fine. It's, at least we know we're definitely in a new area. Again, just more goop. Do I need to get to the other side of that goop? Okay, I found a chest. Just looking around. Another hundred rupees. I mean, I don't mind it. Anything that I don't have to decide what to throw away to pick up is a good thing. Having to, having to decide to throw away things that are in my inventory over and over and over and over again in this game. Quite a problem. Alright, we'll just jump over this one. There we go. That looks like it could be relevant up there. Oh, and that's- this looks definitely relevant. Okay. Okay, so that's the way down. We finally reached our destination. I wonder if there's another way to get here from the opposite side. And, but let me just check what's up here. A lot of goop. So I think that's where the sword was, maybe? I just want to verify that there's nothing there that I'm missing. Looks to be pretty empty though. Yeah. Okay. Seen enough. Nope. Don't you dare, Link. Okay. There we go. Yeah, nothing I'm missing. So, we'll drop down. And I see a ladder. Is this just to get out once we open this thing? I guess so. Um, and also, yeah, I don't see another way. So maybe that was the only side we could have gotten here from. 
Regardless, it's another maze complete. Is this gonna be one of those um, shrines where you just go in and you get the reward and come out? It probably is. If you set a wooden weapon on fire, it can be used as a torch. Good to know. There's not that many wooden weapons though, besides just a stick and also um, the edge of duality, I think is maybe wooden. Forget. Interesting, barbarian armor. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, because that's another in the Barbarian set. So we've got the armor and the, the leggings. Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. I really appreciate that. And that's going to come in handy a lot, I'm sure. Um, so we're only missing one more piece from to, before we... Uh, we're only missing one more piece to have the full Barbarian set. Did we get the last Barbarian item from the other... Um, from the other labyrinth? If so, I should look for another labyrinth on the map to find the last one. I feel like that would make sense. I don't, again, I don't remember if the labyrinth gave us barbarian stuff, but I feel like it's a decent idea to go search for another labyrinth on the map to try to get the full set. So, does that open? Oh, it did open. Okay. So now I can jump my way out of here. And if we look at the map, so this is the labyrinth I'm currently in. The labyrinth, the other labyrinth that I've explored is this one, right? So is there another weird geometric shape hidden on the map somewhere? That's the question. Nothing immediately jumps out at me, so I think I'm guessing that the last one would be around here, just based on where the other ones are. So I actually might want to open up this side of the map in, if I can, um, and see if I can notice anything there. Um, but I did say that first we were going to go over here, so I think that's what we're going to do. So I think that's the next thing we'll do. Um, let's just finish up opening up the rest of the the rest of the map so that we can see it all and after that we'll try to figure out where one of these divine beast quest chains starts i think it'll be a lot more obvious once i have the full map unlocked especially this next chunk here i guess most likely the start of the quest is just reaching that area over there that 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 town or village or whatever that is. That probably is all I need to do. There probably is no other place I go to, to actually start it. But I just wanted to make sure that I have all the map unlocked so I can see. See what else is out here. Because I know that area over there is too hot for me to handle. And I don't want to go there. Unless I know for sure. What's with the soundtrack here? A weird soundtrack going on. I, I got distracted by the weird soundtrack and I fell off. Or I, I'm, I'm too low now. I'm trying to see what, what was emanating that soundtrack over here. Is it this area over here? I mean, this is the obvious place to jump from, right? Okay, I guess, I guess I'm just doing this, right? That is a deep hole. I am curious what's down there, if anything. Okay, so this tower itself has this music, why? It doesn't seem fitting, but again, I don't know what's around here. Like, I don't see... Any real encampments, so I'm not sure why we're getting this music. Is there somebody up here? Who fits this theme? 
Oh, yeah, it's you, because you're making this music. Okay. Well, before we talk to you, this comes first. Okay, now we've got the full map, and honestly, that part of this part of the map did not reveal anything. That's just a bunch of mountains. That's all that, is, that has told me. Yeah, Gerudo Highlands. It's just a bunch of hills and shelves and snow. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, let's talk to this person. Oh. What if? No, but then... Hmm? Mm. Mm, ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity 100 years ago. Oh, he wrote it for us. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, oh forgive me, it seems I prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. This light shines from the northwest skies. From the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Heaven's light? Shoot the sun? I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck and may the light illuminate your path. Where is the sun? Sun? Okay, that was not the answer. Um, a light as light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. So go into the tower's shadow when the sun is in the northwest. Where is the tower's shadow now? And is the sun currently in the northwest? No, it's in the northeast. Huh. Or do I need to be in the northwest? No, I need to be in the tower's shadow for sh sure, right? I just don't see any place of note. In that direction, really. I'm looking at the wrong thing. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow's f an arrow flies, pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. It's likely to reveal a shrine. Okay, it's telling us what it what it reveals when we do that. That's kind of weird. Um, but okay. So yeah, the sun has to be in the northwest. I wish there was a way we could just pass time without having to be at a bonfire or anything. But if we need to pierce the sun's light from the tower's shadow, then we definitely need... We definitely need to be over here, right? We need to be somewhere over here. I just don't see anything... that looks... that important? And now the sun's still in the northeast. So that can't be right. And yes, I did see the Korok thing up there, but... That can wait. There's a million Koroks. Oh, is that it? That looks like a platform. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get back there, so let me warp back. But I think I see something there. Yeah, if the sun has to be in the northwest, then I think we have to be in the... In the, uh, the, the southeast? I I think because I have to shoot from the shadow of the uh, the tower. So if the sun is in the northwest, then the shadow is going to go to the to here. 
the southeast. Yeah, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. I'm very confident. Because it looks the same as the other sun-related puzzle plate thing. So we just have to wait till this glows and then shoot an arrow at the sun. And that should be it. So, again, I wish I could actually, you could actually pass time in this game with like an actual pass time function. But since one does not exist, as far as I know, um, I'm just gonna have to wait here and I'll get back to you guys when this thing glows and I shoot at the sun. So, see you then. Well, I think this thing is glowing now. Um, we're not in the shadow yet, but I think it should still work. So now we need to fire at the sun. Yep. There we go. Is the shrine gonna magically appear now? Yep, it magically appears. Now, again, most likely this is a shrine where we go in and do nothing, but let's find out. Complete. A modest test of strength. Okay, so we've got another test of strength here, but this time it is a modest test of strength rather than a more ridiculous test of strength like we had earlier. Um, okay. I mean, I, I guess I'm okay with that. Although it probably means that the reward weapon is going to be not as uh, not as great, but it should be an easier enemy to defeat maybe. Um, so to deal with this, uh, let's put on our new armor. For more attack damage. We really do need to upgrade it though. Um, it would probably be a good idea to go to the fairies and figure out what we need to upgrade the barbarian armor. Um, as for the weapon, we're using the flame blade. Uh, actually, no, we need to keep out a uh, one-handed weapon, right? For, for the sake of parrying. Yeah. For the sake of blocking until we're ready to actually attack. Alright, well, it's another one of these exact same enemies. Um, okay, our arena's a little bit different this time. We've got, like, the... we got some pillars here or, what, or whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, it starts with that like, attack again. I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting the exact same enemy in every one of these, um... Um... Trials? There, it's a fun enemy. It's a good enemy. I like this enemy, but why are we why are we fighting it a million times? That doesn't seem necessary. What, what is it doing? Oh. That was weird. That seemed very strange. The way that it the way that it zoomed at me. It was not the way it normally zooms at me. Yeah, there, there are some slight variations to these various mechanical enemies, but it's not that different. Okay, this time I messed it up again. Fortunately, again, this is a modest test of strength. And I can definitely feel the difference. It's a bit of a shame to be wasting these weapons on this thing. But, oh well. But, oh, okay, Edge of Duality is a claymore? I didn't know that. So I, are you telling me I only have one sword weapon at this time? I guess that's okay. Okay, come on. There we go, I actually did it right this time. I messed up a lot already in this fight. What are you doing? Spinny spin? Yep, spinny spin. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this, this guy has the same moves as the other one. It's not really any different. Okay. Okay. 
You gonna do it again? Yeah. Oh, no, it's the uh, one I have to parry. Okay. Let's see. Can I do it this time? Yep, I can. All right. So I'm sure the spear that we're gonna get this time is not gonna be a plus plus spear. It's probably just gonna be a plus spear, right? Yeah. It's exactly right. That was exactly right. Okay, so we get a worse spear and a uh, plus sword. I guess that's fine compensation. Um, we've got a whole bunch of these guardian weapons now though. And they are not exactly the most durable. Let's see what we get out of this chest though. Frost Blade, a magical sword forged in the frigid, frigid mountains of the Urba Hebra region. When the blade glows blue, enemies struck with by it will become frozen. I see again, there's so many cool weapons in this game. There's so many cool weapons. And yet the game doesn't actually allow you to use them. What's the point of that? What's the point of having all these cool weapons in the game and saying that oh well it's a cool weapon but it's no point because it's gonna break after a small amount of time and uh, you're gonna have to throw it away later because you're gonna get a stronger thing <sighs> I never will stop stop complaining about that will I I'm sorry there's not much I can do about it it's just this game is such a good game that the um the things that i don't like about it stick out more because of the, the fact that i'm enjoying this game as much as i am but what can you do no game is perfect even my favorite games of all time are not perfect games by any by any means so now that we finished with that We've got uh, we've got enough for another heart container, but we're not gonna we're not uh, we're not gonna go deal with that. Um, I think we still need we still need some distance before we're able to actually pull out the sword. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have warped there. Um, I think what we should do immediately is go see if we can um, upgrade this equipment. I think that's the first step since we've gotten so much gear. For this set, I want to see if I can upgrade it. Okay, let's see. Wait. Okay, she's saying the same things. Okay, so there's the barbarian stuff. We need a Lionel horns, and we have plenty of those. So let's do that. Yes, yes. We, we, don't, we don't need to see her doing that again. Okay. So it increases their defense. Which is great. Some items that in the world that when twice an are worn in, in, worn in a set can give you a nice set bonus. Yep, yep. Yeah, we're going to continue enhancing. Um, so I can enhance it again if I use enough, more Lionel Horns and Lionel Hoofs. Hooves. So do I want to do that to this or... Okay, this all stakes line of horns. We're going to do this. So from now on, I guess we do need to collect more Lionel horns. That's going to be something that we're going to need to, need to uh, remember. Because I don't think we have enough to upgrade it again. But let's see. Yeah, we've got the cold trousers, which take red chew jelly. Yeah, we need Lionel horns and Lionel ho Hooves. So what was the Lionel again? I honestly don't remember. I think it was that really huge guy that we would we were killing, that we killed two of, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, we might as well upgrade this though. There's no real re reason not to upgrade that. There we go.
Okay. So there's no more there's no more stuff I can uh, I can upgrade. That's fine. We we'll just have to, just have to find more Lynels in the future. Uh, I'm not sure where we're where we are going to find one, but in the future, I'll be sure to keep an eye out. So now that we've upgraded our barbarians' clothes at least a little bit, um, at least one time, I guess. Let's continue on and let's open up the final piece of the map and hopefully we will find some sort of labyrinth there and that will get us the final piece of the set and maybe we'll find a lionel too okay so that's where we're going we're heading to that tower looks like i just have to fly there right the, the intended path is clearly to go up uh, oh man it's, it's hard to i can't really zoom or anything or zoom in and out but you have to go up that path, and then across the bridge. That seems to be the intended way. Is that like a boat in the middle of the water? I guess we'll do that um, that shrine right there. Along the way as well. It's actually cold over here apparently, despite being so close to the lava. That's a bit surprising. Yeah, that definitely, that definitely seems like a boat. I think I should probably go to the shrine first. Because the shrine I can warp to later. So I'll go to the shrine and then I'll see what the boat is about. <sighs> Suicidal lizard. Would rather die than allow me to catch it. Um, so it's not actually a boat. It's just some platform on the water, so I'm less interested. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the shrine. We're already here, so we're doing the shrine. There's a lot of shrines in this game. Quite a lot. Which, I don't mind. The shrines are pretty fun, for the most part. Obviously there's some that are just, you go in and you get the reward, and there's others where it's uh, the same battle over and over again, but metal makes a path. But ones like this are actually very interesting. Because now I have to think. And figure things out. So obviously we need to use stasis here. We'll stop that there. I think another one won't come out as long as that one's frozen. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Okay, we have an item over here. To take a look at. Oh, I missed it. Oh, my stasis wasn't even ready yet. Okay. Knight's broadsword. Um, but our inventory is full, so we can't use it. Again, absolutely strange design decision, but it is what it is. Okay, just have to run, run past this. So I think we're gonna need to grab one of these for ourselves and take it with us. Is that what the idea is here? I feel like that's the idea here. So let's do that. Um, and then let's do that. Okay, good. So I need a stasis. The next one that comes. No, we're good. No, we're not good. No, no! Okay, I should not have let my guard down. That, that was my bad. That was completely a skill issue on my part. Okay, stasis again. No, I missed. Come on. Nope. I'm just gonna mash A. It did not work out. That really did not work out. Um. Is that gonna help? 
I tried. You, you gotta give me points for trying right there. Let's try this again once it actually recharges. Okay. Is that gonna be good enough? Okay, that was yet another skill issue on my part. That's fine. I don't even know if I need to bring the, um, the metal ball that direction. I should probably actually check. I should actually check where it is I need to actually be going. So, let me do that. I'll stop. Nope, come on. Stop that right there. So do I want to go up there? It doesn't look like it. I just need to get past here, right? That's it. So maybe if I just stace this one right here, will that help me somehow? Like it'll cause them to all bonk, but I still can't go anywhere. And there's a total of five. How will a metal one help me to push? Wait, can I just, can I actually just grab it and push it? Do I not need to do all this weird stuff that I'm doing? I feel like that's likely. I feel like I'm actually just being dumb. Okay, no, I do need to at least stop its momentum by bonking it, I think. So I think this is still the right idea. At least at the start. Okay, yeah, I think that's correct. So does this work? It does. Okay, so I can do this, then let it pass, and then I can do this, and push them. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, this is actually going to be tough, isn't it? I'm getting somewhere. Yep, yep, this is the way to do it, okay. And they can't spawn anymore because they're all still alive. Cool, cool. All right, we did it. That was a fun one. I just tried to uh, overcomplicate it. All right, Spirit Orb number nine. Again, I could go turn that in for stamina. But if we're going to be turning it into heart containers first anyways, uh, then that's just a waste. Guess we're just going to have to remove it again later. Alright, well, I'm going to see if I can just make my way all the way up to that. What does that sound? Oh! one of you I actually actually I might be interested in killing him um, because holding one of those frost things should be useful right but again I have to get rid of one of my useful weapons in order to do that that's so annoying oh my gosh okay it is what it is we'll just use this guardian spear to kill him and then we'll we'll take his frost weapon I think, right? Wait, hold on. If I hold this, it cools me down. It cools my down, me down just to hold the frost blade. Wait, then do I not need the ice rod? If I drop this, then I grab this, it does the same. Okay, so I don't need an ice rod. Yeah, I don't. Okay, no, no, we're good then. We're good. We're fine with the weapons we have. We'll just use the frost blade to keep ourselves cool when we go into hot environments. That's going to be incredibly useful. Incredibly useful. Now oh, we got people being attacked. 
I mean, last time I tried to help people who were being attacked, it did not go well. They just did not help me out at all. Oh my goodness, go away. Fine, I'll fight you. So that's a moblin. And this is a bacoblin, I think. Okay, this guy's completely oblivious. Wait, is the Lionel the, um... Is a Lionel the, uh, the, the Minotaur guy? I think that might be the case. <sighs> Ish, they never fight fair. They always lurk and wait to ambush us. What a bunch of cowards. No, that's just the normal way to fight. Seems like every time I go out hunting for hardy truffles, I take, I'm taking my life in my hands. Yeah, dangerous wor world you guys live in. But yeah, I think we've seen a Lionel before, like one that we had not defeated before. Um, but where did we see it? Was it around here? I'm not sure. I'll have to remember where I saw that Lionel last time. At least I, th I think the Minotaur guy is a Lionel. I think so. Um, those guys are very difficult to kill. So it's a little bit troublesome. But it is what it is. Is this another assassin? Hmm, what's that word? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't think of it. it starts with L, ends in K. Oh, what is it though? Uh, lurk, lick, leak, link? Oh right, the Hylian champion or so I've heard somewhere. It's you, right? You're Link. <laughs> Lay down your life. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. They, they looked assassiny. Okay. What are we doing here? Um. I think we're flame blading him. And we're doing this. Bonk! There we go. Give me your money and your mighty bananas. And we'll continue on our way.